On average, 100,000 Americans are wounded by guns every year. Scientists have developed something that could prevent gunshot injuries from happening. Bulletproof skin. What if you replaced your skin with this material? What is bulletproof skin made of? What do goats and spiders have to do with this? And could this be the solution to gun violence? This is what if, and here's what would happen if your skin were bulletproof. It's no secret that bullets are incredibly powerful and dangerous. A bullet can move up to 2,500 feet per second. With this speed, it can make its way through walls, metal, and, of course, human skin. So, if we wanted to make ourselves bulletproof, what exactly would we need to do? Well, let's take a look at the scientists who made the first bulletproof piece of skin. A Dutch research team created the skin using spider silk. Well, sort of. Since spiders don't produce a lot of silk, it's incredibly difficult to farm it. So instead, these scientists used CRISPR technology to make goats produce spider silk. They spliced the spider silk gene with goat DNA. And when that goat had a baby, that goat was able to produce milk containing the spider silk proteins. And with that, the researchers were able to produce enough spider silk, which they combined with human cells to make bulletproof skin. They found that this piece of skin could stop a bullet, but only if it wasn't traveling at full speed. It's all thanks to the incredible strength of the spider silk. This protein is three times stronger than Kevlar and five times stronger than steel. So although these initial bulletproof skin tests didn't stop a bullet at normal speeds, let's assume that they've improved the technology and it can stop bullets with ease. What would happen if it replaced your regular skin? This bulletproof skin might not feel much thicker than your regular skin. That's because spider silk is 1,000 times thinner than a strand of human hair. And when combined with our human cells, this new skin would feel just like your normal skin. But it would definitely act differently. With bulletproof skin, our bodies wouldn't be able to be penetrated by firearms. If all humans had this kind of skin, this would prevent thousands, if not millions, of deaths worldwide. If this type of skin became a normal genetic modification, it would most likely be given to the rich and powerful at first. Presidents, kings, and queens would all have this type of skin, keeping them safer from assassination attempts. Next on the list would be military and police officers. With bulletproof skin, they'd no longer need to wear bulletproof armor or protective equipment. This would save millions of dollars and it would make them more agile on the battlefield. Injuries and death for soldiers could be significantly reduced. But that doesn't mean that bulletproof skin would be perfect. Sure, your skin would be impenetrable, but you'd still feel the impact of the bullet. Getting hit by a bullet would, at best, feel like the hardest punch you've ever felt. And at worst, it could easily break your bones, so don't go running around thinking you'd be invincible. And with this in mind, bulletproof skin probably wouldn't affect gun violence either. In fact, it might make it worse. Instead of shootings, there could be an increase in bomb attacks. And who's to say that manufacturers wouldn't just make more powerful guns to be more deadly? They could develop weapons powerful enough to penetrate bulletproof skin, making it completely pointless. Bulletproof skin might sound like a great idea, but it wouldn't make much of a difference when it comes to violence. Maybe being a single worldwide country could help us find peace. 
Well, that's a story for another What If. Before you go on to your next hypothetical adventure, I want to show you something we're really excited about. This, my friends, is the What If 100 book. It's a beautiful collection of your 100 favorite scenarios, amazing artworks, and additional facts, all in good old beautiful print and paper. If you're like me and you enjoy an inspiring read and some time off the screen, all the while supporting one of your favorite YouTube channels, you might want to consider pre-ordering this must-have encyclopedia of imaginations right now. Click the link below to learn more.